So kia ora and thanks for joining. We're going to go for a little walk inside. So it's get me to the church on time and away we go. Whoa. So it is beautiful. It is the oldest wooden church in New Zealand. Ooh, oh, just found some pretty flowers to show you. On a miserable day we have a bright spot. Let us go inside. Just spitting with a little bit of rain now. And yeah, so thanks for joining everybody. The gorgeous Pahutakawa flower, uh, trees, red flowers in the summer. As you know, I've told you all that before. <laughs> We're going to go in and have a look at the gorgeous stained glass windows. Bugsy Cruiser, how's it going there, Chris? Old St. Paul's. So built in 1866 and completely built of New Zealand native timbers. It is beautiful. Chris, how's it going? And where are you in the United States of America today? Follow Chris on YouTube because he does, if you like trains, <laughs> he does amazing choo-choo, <laughs> choo-choo videos. <laughs> Karen, awesome. Jay, fantastic. Big cat, nice to see you. Whoa, big cat. Long time, long time. So there we go. <laughs> G'day Tom, how's it going? So we're just walking into the church, it's really, really beautiful. I'm going to show you, it's quite dark inside. So hopefully our um, picture's going to be okay. But you can see how beautiful it is. Why dog sent you? Whoa, got all the animals coming in today. Fargo, North Dakota, awesome. G'day George, big pony. Hey, thanks for joining you guys, nice to see you. Love the Chicago big cats. <laughs> we are the leftovers of Periscope. <laughs> There we go. Whoa, amazing. Margaret, thank you so much. So yes, we are on HAPS, which is also going out on the other platforms as well, which is really fantastic. I'm not too far from the Beehive so and the railway station. So if you're in the area, make sure you pop up here to Old St. Paul's. So it doesn't really operate as a church any longer. It's more of a little community center. They do have, um, they do have uh, weddings and funerals here. In fact, they've got three weddings booked for this week, so they told me, which is amazing. Yes, Kevin, it's gorgeous here, isn't it? Old St. Paul's. So it's a good day to be inside. Built in 1866, it was the Church of England pro-cathedral and parish for 98 years. It's 1967, it was bought and restored by the New Zealand government. It's cared for by Heritage New Zealand, Pohere Taonga, Supported by the friends of Old St. Paul's. Grant, awesome. <laughs> Lenny, hey Lenny, nice to see you. 1866. 1866. Clickety click. Okay, let's go in the old door. So there we go. No my, Heidi my. Welcome to St. Paul's. Tomo my ki kone. Enter here. So there we go. Even got the old door handle still. Let's go in. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning indeed. Welcome. I've just brought my group in to have a little look through the church. There we go, the original font here. Apparently the lid comes off, 1866. Yeah, apparently the lid comes off with a great deal of persuasion. <laughs> and we're just looking down towards the nave. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Cool. Buckets, how's it going? Look how beautiful. We should really be try and be very quiet. I'm going to show you right around. Gorgeous stained glass windows everywhere. G'day Zach. Chuck. Hey, we've got lots of new people here today. It's nice. St. Paul's, we're in Wellington, the capital city of New Zealand. It's gorgeous, Karen. It's really beautiful. The oldest wooden church in New Zealand. When I arrived, there was somebody here just doing the flowers. It's gorgeous, yeah. Somebody was just doing the flowers and um, the, the caretaker, the guide, the man that's here today told me they get the fresh flowers done once a week. <laughs> Andrew, yeah. We'll just go through here a little bit further. Yeah, so people pop in, and, yeah, Chris, it's amazing. People pop in and out all the time. Very happy to have visitors come through. Yeah. 
not completely of New Zealand native Brindles. Mm, yeah, yes, that's why I'm actually doing it on um, portrait so we can get the full picture of the windows. Oh, yeah, the organs. Oh, I haven't noticed the organ, it's amazing. Yeah. So, there we go. Um, actually, I can pick up some information about these. This is there's, yeah, Rick, fantastic. This is Jesus blessing the children. Let me just go back to the desk and I'll pick up the information. So if you want to know anything, we've got it right at hand. We've got it. There it is. <laughs> Arches, yeah. Mic is muted. I'm just talking very quietly. That's why Florida man, I'm talking quietly because there are other people here as well as me. And I don't want to disturb people. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, where is it? Oh, oh, there it is over there. I've come too far. Let's pick it up. Go back, 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 back. <laughs> Here we go, the windows. Okay. Diamond panes. <laughs> You guys can do what you want. Yeah. No, I'm not talking. Richard, fantastic. I am not talking very much or t and not talking very loudly because I want to respect other people that are here in the church as well. Uh, Diamond Panes, 1874. Double lance lancet featuring white, red, blue and yellow floral. Okay. <laughs> Chef Dog, how's it going? Big cat, he's the, he's the pussy cat, the pussy cat of all pussy cats. There we go, Jesus blessing the children, 1898. Saint Cecilia and Saint Catherine, 1892. Show the sliders. Um, what are the sliders? Oh, don't ask me difficult questions. The people's window here. <laughs> this is the people's window. 1896. It was paid for by the congregation, that's why it's known as the people's window, who raised 19 pounds by each donating as much as they could. <laughs> Gorgeous detail, look. Wow. Wow, this is where the sermon's read from. This is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Chef Dog. I know you fellas. I remember you all. <laughs> I just like to try and acknowledge as many people as I can. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Ah, oh. so they've done a lot of conservation work here the altar textiles of old St. Paul's. It's not often you have the opportunity to enter somewhere as special and sacred as this area. Yeah. So respect, respect. Yeah. So this is New Zealand, 1866, all made from, um, as I was saying, native timbers, all hand carved. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, Cynthia, awesome. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Carpet. Look at this thick red carpet. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I'm so lucky as well that we do have permission to do this and yeah, we're allowed to walk around everywhere, show the church as much as possible. The flags are up. Look at the organ now. Oh, this window here. Christ and Peter. Uh, Christ with his disciples at the lakeside. And then the beautiful organ. Oh yes, I do know the breakers. Yep, I'm a bit of a fan. Doesn't matter who. Oh, the lights are going out. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> there we go. They're back on again. <laughs> Here's the organ. Beautiful, beautiful pipe organ. Wow. Yes, we look, it doesn't matter if you're a Kiwi, you follow all the sports. We love our black ferns. We're loving the Olympics. We're doing well. We're doing well. Look how gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving me, my official organist. Wow. 1877 to 1992. Must be two of them. That's more than a hundred years old. <laughs> ah, look, all the pedals. Who, you still have somebody, there's still an organist? Oh, yeah. yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, okay. Just, just open this up for us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So he's just opened this up. Oh, 1976. Okay. A new organ. Yeah. Pipes. Yeah. I think that's what he said. It's a new organ. Oh, so these are the textiles that were being restored. Wow. Look at the fringing. Amazing. Molly, fantastic, how are you? Nice to see you. We're inside this beautiful old church, St. Paul's Cathedral, the oldest wooden church in New Zealand. Oh, it's fantastic. Nice to see you, Molly. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Looking up here, imagine building it. Imagine scrambling around all over the top of this. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. That's beautiful. It's got a little keyhole here, so I guess that's that's where it unlocks. There we go. There we go. You need the magic key, though. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's got... Um, wow, look at the stops. I think that's what they call it, aren't they? Stops. Wow. Oh, and the pedal. Oh, look at the wooden pedals. Amazing. Ah, it's fabulous. So if you're the organist and you turn around, this is what you're looking at. It's quite large, quite large. Um, let me look up here towards the pulpit. Yes, I'm sure it's gorgeous, um, Molly. Yeah, look at this. So these flowers have just been done today. I was here a little bit earlier and they were just completing them. So of course there is a newer cathedral now that which is used um, mainly. We'll go up here. Oh, I didn't come up here before, so this is quite interesting. This is the choir, the choir seats. Windows are gorgeous, yeah. I've, Molly, I've actually got the um, description of all the, all the windows here as well. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. So for those of you that are wondering why the numbers are quite large, is Big Cat has been here. So Big Cat is a friend of mine in Chicago, Barstool. <laughs> so, which is amazing. And so he has... Um, lot of his pussycats and dogs to come over here today. Oh, read this building. So, yeah. Tom, g'day, how's it going? This is gorgeous, yeah. So here, um, I'll just, where are we? I just need to find them on the map. Uh, seven, six. Okay, so six is just through here. The transfiguration that's the transfiguration and then we have the sanctuary windows here the altar <laughs> um, sorry I heard Dees was the architect oh Justin maybe um, I'll see if I oops uh, I'll see if I can find the architect um, 
know, but during the Second World War, over 20,000 US Marines were stationed in the Wellington region. Old St Paul's was their place of worship. And we had lifelong friends were made with families in Wellington. Um, I don't see anything here about the original architect. Anglican, yes it is. Margaret, yeah. Midori! Konnichiwa, how are you? How's things today? Uh, we can find out who the original architect is when we get back to the beginning. There we go. Yeah, it's all been completely restored. <laughs> yeah, it has. Absolutely, Richard, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. And... You know, it's very spiritual being here too. It's so peaceful. I think if I lived near here, I could almost call in and just have a few quiet moments every day. And that's the thing I like about, it doesn't matter what your religion is, and it doesn't matter how you pray. If you feel comfortable somewhere, I think you should take advantage of that. <laughs> Where are we? Read this. Ah, here we go, the story. <laughs> story. Push a button to watch the story. Um, yeah, so you can push a button. Oh. Molly, thank you so much. Oh, there we go. Europeans arrived here. This land was part of a large and thriving Māori settlement, Pikakea Park. Probably oh, nice. Probably 200 people living here at any one time. And it was enormous. And, and to think about a pa, you need to think bigger than just the houses behind a palisade. Oh, fantastic. Area. There were areas for agriculture, there were areas for horticulture, there were places yeah, let's keep moving on. Let's go back. I'm just trying to find out the architect. From Par to Parish Church, here we go. Bishop Selwyn. Uh, Gothic goes global. A church built in wood. The architect, Reverend, here it is, founder, Reverend Frederick. Thatcher. <laughs> he would have preferred to have built in stone, but because of the earthquakes, it was built in, built in wood. And that's true, because when we had the big earthquake about five years ago, quite a bit of damage was done to the church, and they said that, lucky it wasn't stone, because it was wood, it was able to move. So we'll leave. We'll leave the history um, going over here. Urkin, fantastic, nice to see you. We'll leave the little bit of history going, but that's how that goes. There we go. There we go, the transfiguration. Date unknown. <laughs> lightning, oh, light, lighting control. Lighting control, okay. <laughs> Let's see, light, oh, a tap. Hmm, this could have been, I wonder why there's a tap here. <laughs> Let's keep walking. We've done half the church. I want to do the other side as well. They do have a little shop, so uh, if we were if we were taking a service here, this would be what we'd be looking out at, which would be great. Or if you're in the choir, you'd be sitting here, and you'd be looking down towards the entrance there. It's fantastic. It's gorgeous. And have a little shop, of course, because they want to support. Oh, we've got some extra rooms. Please mind the step. Well, this is old. This is really old. This part hasn't been restored at all. Look. Wow. One of the outside turrets. Wow. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is probably where the clergy um, are waiting before the service, I would say. Wildfires, wow. Seems to me like the world is either flooding or on fire at the moment. 
nothing is, yeah, we're not very stable, are we? Mother Nature is, well, we need to have a bit more respect for Mother Nature. Uh, in Turkey, yeah. Look at the window latches, wow, amazing. Yeah, really old, look. Gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. The old um, chest of drawers here. Pray for Turkey, yep. I think, we also, I think we need to pray for the whole world because there's lots of people struggling, lots of people, little hand wash basin here, lots of people, yeah, not happy. Let's keep walking. I love this little area here. This is amazing. Look at the old wood. And the old door. Okay, so this is the floor's been raised up because look where the door is. <laughs> the door goes right down here. <laughs> yeah, and it's cold here. No no insulation. Old coat hook still there. Amazing, amazing. Oh love, love door handles. Look at this one. Wow. Yeah. Oh no, I hate that. I hate that. A bit of modern technology here for the shop. So they have a little shop here where they sell lots of lovely things. Wellington. Yeah. So they sell lots of, you can buy lots of things um, here to support the, the upkeep of the building. I love the fact they've got these lovely candles here. Handmade. Oh, you visited here, Scott? Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Oh, Scott and Kathy, I can just imagine you having fun. Well, having fun, enjoying being here. It looks like a kite. Wow. It's really beautiful. Felt bags. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, this window here, um, no, number nine, okay, number nine's over the other side, still serious, yeah, we'll take, yeah, it is serious, that's true, you know, we, you need to, everybody needs to do their best to put it out, that's for sure, number nine, St. Luke and St. Mark, St. Luke is the patron saint of physicians and surgeons, and St. Mark, the evangelist, and Dr. Kebble's name, namesake. <laughs> but they've been wrongly inscribed. <laughs> so they've each been given the wrong name, but that's okay, they know who they are. Yes, yeah, well, you know, this is what's happening with the world at the moment. Lots of lots of things are happening that have never happened before. Bookmarks there, cards. Yeah, lovely. Oh, I love the eagle. The eagle is gorgeous. Oh, this is interesting. A horse in memory. Ah, oh, King Edward's horse. King's Oversea Dominions Regiment. Killed in action. I think this is a good message for everybody. Be of good courage and let us play the men for our people and for the cities of our God and the Lord do that which seemeth him good. That seems quite relevant for what Erkin's talking about as well. Now we've got a gorgeous big um, window up here. Um, this one here, number 11, the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. And this one here is Joshua and the Centurion. Uh huh. Too hot? Yeah. Yeah. Too hot. Whoops. There we go. And this one here, Christ with Martha and Mary. Beautiful. Love the eagle. Love the eagle.
<laughs> I'm not sure, Patrick. <laughs> Big Cat, he, Big Cat's an old friend of mine, so we used to do things together on Periscope. So, yeah, I think he quite liked the idea of coming in to um, have a few quiet moments and wanted to bring you all as well. Um, the windows have all been um, put in at different times, Molly. So, um, yeah, so they originally they were just all frosted glass and then over the years they were replaced with stained glass. So I'm not exactly sure um, who the different um, stained glass artists or workers were. Uh, I'll just, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at this big board I've got here, looking for information. <laughs> uh, near, okay, nearly all the windows in St Paul's were made by, uh, where, oh, there we go, Lavas and Barode, Barode, well-respected stained glass window manufacturers located in London. The windows were shipped to New Zealand in boxes packed with straw. A few windows were made elsewhere. Yeah. So we just, hey, we're doing good. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, I think we're 10th, 10th or 11th in the medal table. Not bad for a small country. <laughs> Our um, Lisa Carrington in the kayaking has done really, really well. So this really big one here at the, the baptistry windows, five small lancet windows, yeah. The original part, believed to be the original church structure, relocated from the original baptistry wall when it was expanded in 1891, yeah, cool. Oh, we, oh you've, have you come to play the organ? Yeah. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Is that okay if we just watch for a moment? Yeah, I'm just part of the furniture and people want to come. Fantastic. There we go, everybody. We're going to hear the, we're going to hear the organ play. Wow. This will be amazing. Just a tiny bit here. Uh -huh. it, it, is, uh, it was discovered in the 1960s and the main builder and his paid Carpenters yes. Had their names on it. Ah. Yeah, discovered it. It's along here. Okay. Right. Oh, this is good. This is part of the original building. They ah, oh, here we go. They discovered that in the nineteen sixties when they were on doing this. Yes. But it's reinforced now because it's anchored up. Okay, but behind this, behind this is, is this. Uh, there is a um a, a panel, yeah, panel, and all the original builders have um, signed their name on it. It's, but you can't see it because they're protecting it. It's put, been put back here behind here. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? It's yeah. been for nine months, but I reckon it's because the McLagan, who was the chief builder, yes. had his other job was um, um, as a funeral undertaker. So he okay, so a funeral wanted, undertaker and a builder. Yeah. So he wanted a nice reception for his uh, clients. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. So this building was built in nine months. Nine months, nine months yeah. to build the whole building. Amazing, amazing. So. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're going to head up, and yeah. where's the organist gone? It might take him a little while to get organised. Yeah, way cool. Yeah, good timing. Good timing. We can have a little wander around waiting for him. Patrick, yeah. That's amazing. So the original builders have all got their names written on, they wrote in pencil on the one of the panels. Amazing. But they've cut, unfortunately, they have covered it back up again. One person is uh, Paul. Paul? Okay. Organist. Paul was the organist. Okay, fantastic. We'll wait for Paul. <laughs> it's all wooden, Erkin. Yeah, the whole thing is wooden. It's amazing. Oh, Paul's got the key. <laughs> uh, wonderful that people are still. Um, we'll have to come up and have a look. 
Yes. I'm not nutritionally sure. Oh, no, no. You're prepping don't. in my lunchtime, doing Ab your prep this year. Absolutely, yes, yeah. Sort of house, no, so yeah, oh, no, that's fantastic. Stuff. We just want to hear the sound and, yeah, gorgeous, beautiful. There we go. Got the little key, it's opened up. So Paul is not the official organist. He just comes in at his lunch hour to have a little practice. Yep, keep his fingers flexible <laughs> and keep in tune. Amazing. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. I'll just um, sit back here and we'll just have a little listen to you. This is a treat, everybody. Oh, okay, this is where we're sitting. <laughs> wow, it's a big organ, pipe organ. But yes, Jessie, it's amazing. Look, let's sit down. There we are. <laughs> Dylan, will I? Yeah, I, do you do requests, Paul? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, we're just joking. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. How's it going, Jeevan? Fabulous to see you all. Look at this. Oh, oh Karen, okay. Hi. No. I'm in I'm in Wellington. I'm flying back to Auckland today. beautiful is this? The sound. Oh, amazing. Oh, Karen, thank you. Yeah.
is there anything that I could help to be more useful? I'm just sitting frame. No, just this is fabulous. The, no, no, no. I the, could do a couple of little brief snippets of, I don't know. I, well, no, we were joking when we said request, special request. No, this is lovely. This They're is, enjoying it. Yeah. This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> sort of different uh, different yeah, different sounds. And doing a little demo for us. Awesome, yeah, 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 so yeah. yeah. that's fantastic, yeah. So somebody's just asking, it's wood and brass, isn't it? The um, the the pipes. Um, or are they all brass? These pro yeah, fr the front pipes are different with that orangey colour. Okay. Um, but different. Most of the pipes. You see behind oh, me, yes, it's yes. A, a, a mixture of lead and tin. Lead and tin, okay. Most, most ones. There will be somewhere, yes, there'll be most of them. Somewhere there's uh, usually there'll be some wooden pipes somewhere. This will be, that'll be a wooden one. Okay, uh, yeah. That'll be wood somewhere. Uh, oh, yes, you uh, can hear it really deep. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. You can see a bit of wood through there. Oh, the wood through here? Okay, the yep. wooden pipes are really deep, so you can see them there. Yeah. On this yeah. square. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and do you know how old the organ is? Mm, oh. no. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> 19, 1977. It 1977. Is, so, so it's not terribly. It's not that old. It's not ancient. No. Yeah. So when the cathedral moved across to the new building, they actually took the old. The old old with them. With yeah. Them yeah. Yeah. So this was, and this organ is a very much of the nineteen. 70s fashion, okay. fashion effects organs. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Yeah. Morning, Mr. Happy. <laughs> cool. We have people watching from all over the world, so, yeah, which is nice. So one more little tune, and then I'm going to have to finish everybody because I've gone to low battery. So, yeah, one more tune. One more tune? What do you call them? Recital? Well, no, it's, it's not a recital. No, it's a what? <laughs> the tune, song. Unprepared, whatever, yeah. <laughs> Small and sweet. Small and sweet. Oh, just for us. Okay, everybody, I'm just going to turn the camera. Thank you so much for watching. This has been amazing. I have loved this. I think this might be my favourite broadcast ever. So I want to say thanks to everybody at Old St Paul's as well, because this has been really, really beautiful. And I want to thank you all for joining me and, yeah, just being such fabulous guests, <laughs> such fabulous tourists today. There we go. Thanks, Molly. Yes, you guys are all awesome. All awesome. Thank you so much. And this was very special. Getting, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah.
thanks everybody, kia ora and ka kete, and I will stay on for a few moments and you know we've got a little donation box so we'll do something there as well so thank you everybody, I, I will leave a donation from all of us so yeah, thanks everybody, kia ora and ka kete, and I'll just hang on for a moment so you can enjoy this as you all depart, <laughs> thank you and thanks Big Cat, nice to see you again, awesome. Thanks, Richard, you're fabulous. <laughs> yeah, thanks, everybody. <laughs>